How to build a Blackgate Sweet P 5 inch gauge locomotive, part 5. Checking the wheel quartering and to do this I need to remove both of the connecting rods. After this sequence there isn't much more I can do until I go over to Blackgate's engineering tomorrow to pick up quite a lot of Sweet P parts and of course the drawings. Here's a close-up of the standard of workmanship of the connecting rod brasses and the big end brasses and they're okay, functional but not exactly nice to look at. I'm sure I can improve this. Although it doesn't really apply in this case, the phrase it's not how you start, it's how you finish is definitely valid. It's always a good idea to get a good finish on the parts. The good thing is for me, not too many of the tolerances on these parts are tight, so they are very easy to dismantle. The good thing is that as this engine has never run, the bearing surfaces are very good indeed. I'll be able to continue where the previous builder or builders left off. This steel plate that holds the coupling rod brasses in place is not very well finished and there's even a chunk out of it. I'm sure I can improve on that and I'm also going to round off the tops and bottoms of the brasses. Similarly, the finish on the casting isn't good. There's been no attempt made to clean up the casting before painting it. This is known as fettling and it's really important with castings. You don't want them to look like machined pieces of bar stock but they do need to be cleaned up to a certain standard. And while on the subject of standards, I would like to apologise for my kitchen wall. One day I will get round to painting it. A while ago I did get a painter in to do some painting on the house, but unfortunately he was depriving some poor village of its idiot. He was absolutely useless. Pretty much like this cab on the locomotive, the roof and the spectacle plate are OK, but the sides are made from very thin metal and need reinforcement at the bottom where the cab sides meet the cab floor. This is a very weak structure. I'm going to remove it and put it under the table with the other parts. I always said I would not allow any of my steam engine projects to encroach on the kitchen space, but unfortunately, at this moment in time, I don't have a choice. There is a seven and a quarter inch gauge Sweet William locomotive on my workbench in the main workshop, and this takes up a lot of space. I'm going to have a sort out in my small workshop which is built onto the kitchen. I'm sure I can create some more space in this small workshop by removing a lot of the completed engines that are in there to somewhere else. I'm going to feature this part of the locomotive as a separate episode. It's a pair of trailing wheels and there's more to these than meets the eye. When connected to the locomotive, this part has some brackets that limit its travel from side to side using two springs. All I really need to do is clean the wheels and clean all the metal parts and rough them up for painting. One area of concern is the bit of damage just by the pivot. It's right at the bottom of the image at the moment. I'm either going to use my MIG welder to build up the metal that's been damaged but before I do anything, I want to look at the drawing. I can't see this being right. It's just steel against a steel pin, and it's a main bearing for a part that moves. I might remake this part slightly larger and fit a bush, but I will look at the drawing first. I can't go much further until I get the drawing and the other parts from Blackgate's engineering. So what I'm going to do is just give you a quick recap of the job so far. Don't worry, it's not going to be long and drawn out. I'm just going to use edited clips running at a higher speed than normal. Here's how the engine arrived. And currently it is a long way from being a running miniature locomotive. I'm only doing this flashback for anyone who's watching this and hasn't seen the previous episodes in the series, which are of course much more detailed than these images. If you want to see the full sequences, please watch the other episodes. And that's it for this one. I don't need to speak over this, so here's a bit of music. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful.
please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.